folks, welcome to the channel. I'm Don. This is Rock in the Country. I'm smiling because of the name of the song, and that is such a country title. But, well, one, Jacob Herrick's made a gift for me to react to this one. So, Jacob, shout out to you. But the reason I'm smiling is because it's Jerry Jeff Walker. This is not going to be an ordinary song, and Jacob rarely selects ordinary songs. And so, pickup truck song. I just have a feeling it's going to be some kind of twist on the common country theme of, you know, a broke down pickup truck and the dog dies in the rain and all that stuff in a, in a standard national country song. But we're going to find out. Here we go. Pickup truck song. I'll tell you a little story about this song. My favorite parts was I used to go down to Lukenbach and ride around with Hondo in his old pickup truck. He had an old green Chevy pickup. The outside of it looked like it had been beat all over with a tire iron. When he opened the door, all his junk rolled out of his old snow, snuff cans and jumper cables and chains and piece of wood he's whittling on, maybe an old can he'd use somewhere. My favorite part, though, was riding home from Lukenbach late on a big full moon night. We turn the lights off, kind of ride along in the moonlight. Across the top of this one hill, Honda would say, Hey, I think it's right. We're going to go for the coasting record. <laughs> He'd shut the truck off. We'd go down this little grade in the road. i say, Honda, how far is the coasting record so far? He said, That big tree up there at the end of the hill. We'd be all leaning in the cab trying to get the truck going a little bit farther. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know how serious it was. I mean, going for a record and everything, I had to try my best. It's like Dumb and Dumber. Some of the fun you can have in your pickup truck. <laughs> yeah, I used to look forward to Saturdays when me and my grandpa get away. I'll be this pickup truck in gold town. We had a couple chores that we had to do. It didn't take long before we were through. Then we let the pickup truck just wander around. <laughs> Finger up to the candy down. But I was waving, we saw some work. Grandpa would make up a song as we rolled along. Yeah, that's cool. The post office without fail. We get to feed and we check out the mail. And then we put the same road twice on the way back home. I spent a few years out of running free. I spent two or three in New York City and I moved back to Texas tired till it had enough. Yeah. I go to Luke and Bob on Saturdays, cause I know had a way to brighten up my day. He always made me laugh when we rode in his pickup truck. Yeah. Hondo, does that just what he called his grandfather? Hondo. You make a run to the candy down. I was waving, we saw someone. I don't make up a tail as I rolled along. The post office went out fail. He gets the chew and we check out the man. We never took the same road twice on the way back home. I miss Grandpa and Honda too I really miss things that we used to do so Last week I went out and bought me an old pickup truck Now me and my kids spend Saturdays We do fun things in a simple way We love to start the day with a ride in the pickup truck Back 
goes generation to generation. His grandfather did it with him, and it sounded like he did it with his kids. Because toward the end of the song, he said, I miss Hondo and my grandpa. And But then there's kids doing it again, and he's making songs up and stuff. So he's just doing what he learned. Those kinds of fun, th fun things. Why reinvent the wheel? You know, if they work, you can keep doing them. They're just fun. It's sort of like family heritage. But he never did say if they got the record, <laughs> the coasting record. And I think we've all done that at some point just to see how far can I go. If the car's behind you, then you don't do it. Because as you start going slower and slower and slower, they're catching up to you. If it's any kind of busy road or any just a car, another one on the road. But uh, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. That you could tell he was having fun telling this one. It sure sounded like his story. Because the way he told it, I don't know, there's a certain way that a person embodies a story. Like, I can usually tell when a story is the singer's own story. And not always, though. Some are really good at taking someone else's story, making it their own, and projecting it, uh, just embodying the song. But in this one, it sure looked like he was having fun the way he described coming back from Luke and Box and, and all that. But Who's Hondo? Because I know John Wayne, That wasn't that his nickname? But anyway, I mean, I had a friend we used to call Hondo. I don't know where that even came from because his name is John. And But, well, John Wayne, Hondo, maybe that is a nickname for John. I never thought about that. Anyway, I thought Jack was a nickname for John. Anyway, oh, gosh, what am I going to rate that one, Jacob? Oof. Man, it was just a fun family story. It's like roped in. Oh. Two numbers immediately popped into my head on this one. And so I'm going to go with the, the higher of the two because I'm smiling. And so I'm coming with a straight 9.0. This was just a fun, feel-good, sort of riveting story. And I rate my experience of the song and I might even play this in the car if I just heard the audio version of it and uh, I don't know if I'd start coasting I probably would get the idea let me get this thing up to x miles an hour and see how far I could coast I don't know so all right folks you can thank Jacob Harris for that one Jacob thank you again my friend have a great day I'll see you on another video keep rocking the country and coasting along